What's up everybody, Justin from the Virtual Consulting Group here. Today to talk to you about mobile device management or also known as MDM. Look, when you're setting up any organization that has Macs in its fleet, setup can be confusing, it can take a long time. You have all of these details to work about between machines and iOS devices, accounts, logins, and what software needs to be pushed. Well, the solution for that is MDM. When working in any Apple environment, regardless of its size, it's always an effort to coordinate all of the technology involved. Between setting up all the computers, iOS devices, it can be a daunting task, on top of which you have apps, logins, and security protocols that need to be in place. And then on top of that, you need to worry about support tickets. The solution to all of this is something called MDM, or Mobile Device Management. It's a central way of managing all of your devices, including how apps are pushed out, security settings, logins, and more. Apple strongly encourages MDM and is actually making it harder with future operating systems to manage computers in an organizational setting without the use of it. Look, MDM is a big win, not just for businesses, but nonprofits, schools, and even government agencies. It's just too hard and insecure to deal with every device individually. With MDM, organizations benefit in a few ways. Quick, consistent setup. With MDM, organizations create something called profiles. Basically what they are is a set of instructions or settings that can be pushed to a computer. So every time a new user opens up a computer or if you wipe one, all of the settings get re-pushed to that computer and you have that same consistent setup each time. With an MDM, you can push apps, you can push settings, you can push security protocols, and every time that computer will be set up the same way. You can even push user accounts if you get into things like single sign-on or identity management. In the best of cases, the new user all has to do is turn the computer on and sign in. The MDM will download all the appropriate apps and push whatever needs to be pushed. This way the user can get started on day one. Improved security. You can set settings like requiring a passcode on an iOS device or how long it would take before the, your password is required if your Mac screensaver starts. All of these are able to be pushed and changed on the fly thanks to tools like MDMs. And from an IT perspective, MDM offers some of the greatest in security because you can actually lock and potentially remote wipe devices from afar. Never have to worry about losing that data in that taxi cab again. Lower costs. Yes, MDM is a cloud-based solution, and yes, there's gonna be a cost associated with it. But think about the actual cost there versus the amount of time and cost in having a person take two to three hours to set up every computer for every new user. When you have an MDM, it's almost a set it and forget it kind of attitude because you can set the programs and the settings, change them on the fly, and every computer that will be set up will get those things as opposed to a person individually changing and setting up each individual computer. So overall, your cost will be lower with a tool like an MDM. Asset tracking. An MDM enables information-rich asset tracking, allowing you, the IT provider, to know where machines are and track them, as well as get a lot of information about the machine so this way you can help with lifecycle management. The best thing you can do is track when these machines need to be replaced to be able to provide the most productivity for your end users. Now, how does this all benefit your users? Personal and work separation. With an MDM, it's actually very easy and secure to separate both personal and work information on one device, eliminating the need for the employee to carry both a personal and work cell phone. Even if the person has a newer phone, the organization wants to have their data on it, using an MDM separates those two, making it really nice and easy. Faster, easier setups. Look, no employee wants to sit down day one and have to enter in their new username and password on 17 websites and 20 different programs and all of these things that they need to do. They came in to work. Using an MDM allows you to actually provide that ability to the user. They can sit down, put in their username and password to sign into their computer, and since the MDM is doing all the heavy lifting, of pushing the apps, settings, and logins, guess what? That employee is now working on day one. Peace of mind. With security settings pushed by your MDM, you can ensure that in case your user makes a mistake, and like, look, they happen, nothing can actually happen to the organization's data because that computer is safe. It can be remotely locked, remotely wiped, and rebuilt very fast, allowing that user back to work and able to undo their mistake. As helpful as an MDM is, Finding the right one for your organization is not easy. There are a lot of different vendors out there and you need to figure out exactly what you're looking for in your MDM. Some provide identity management, 
Some tie into certain tools and not others. Some only do iOS devices and some do both Mac and iOS devices. So contact your IT provider or your MSP and have them help you decide which one is the right one for your organization. But at the end of the day, MDM is here to stay and you're gonna need it. I'm Justin from Virtua Consulting Group. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like down below. Comment, let us know what you're using for your MDM. We'd love to hear from you.